For new at 11, Governor Glenn Youngkin visited Virginia Beach today. He stopped by Green Run High School to talk about inflation, coronavirus response efforts, and much more. Angelo Vargas was there. Governor Glenn Youngkin brought up many topics from his budget plan. He also spoke about how his office is tackling the COVID-19 pandemic and inflation. Many people filled the Green Run High School gymnasium to hear from Governor Glenn Youngkin's updates about the 2022 budget. Since February 1st, 94,000 Virginians have gone back to work. Despite touting those employment numbers, Youngkin says inflation is putting a burden on too many people. No matter where I go, everybody is worried about rising grocery prices, fuel prices. While Virginia's tax burden is fairly low, Yunkin insisted he wants to lower it even more. And so what we're working on is how to get how to get taxes down and to reduce the tax burden on Virginians. And one of the areas that we're spending a lot of time on is is um, uh, housing and the ability for people to access housing that they can afford. The other topic of concern for the governor is COVID-19. He's urging Virginians not to let their guard down. We won't mandate a vaccination, but I encourage people to talk to their physicians and get it. I got the vaccine. I got the booster. The 2022 state budget consists of about $1 billion in tax relief and one-time rebates of $250 for individuals and $500 for families. Youngkin says he's concerned about how some people still are dealing with the effects of the pandemic. We see a path to normalcy out of this pandemic, but we're not on the path to normalcy out of this mental health crisis. While the new budget eliminates the state portion of the sales tax on groceries and essential personal hygiene products, it does not include a cut in the gas tax. In Virginia Beach, Angelo Vargas, 13 News Now. After speaking there, Governor Yunkin stuck around Virginia Beach just a little bit longer. He stopped by a national night out event. Take a look. The one at Green Run was one of several across the city and Hampton Roads. We'll have much more on the annual event aimed at bridging the gap between police and community members in just a few minutes.